joined the community to know in this poem, there is a legend about Tina the Lame, whom most of us in the West know as Canberra Lame, that on his way to war in China, which was his last campaign, he ordered each man in his army to add a stone to a cairn, a, a pile of stones, um, on the Santash Pass. And then on the way home, each man was to pick up a stone, and that way he would be able to number uh, the number of men lost, killed in China, by how many stones remained. Ironically, he was killed in China, but that's the legend. So that's the only thing you need to know for this poem. It's called, uh, Come Back Each Summer to See How Far Your Favorite Rock Has Moved. Come back each summer to see how far your favorite rock has moved. No object of interest to ants, nor to butterflies. Silty water and root-stained ice. That is to say, when a white object casts a shadow on a white surface, and instead of note paper, a red book. For the only thing certain about dark sides is that their color will be changeful. Their color will be changeful. But the whole range is called the mountain of God. The trail traverses, kick steps as you go. Dirty wool caught in the barbed wire, but only now and then. As cloud is driven from steep to steep, and birds alone, who can pass freely over the walls of the prison, say, there is nothing there, only unclimbed peaks and the stones of Tamberlane's army. The stones of Tamberlane's army. For the nobleness of mystery is neither idle nor undefined. Rose crown in the short ripe grass a tundra light whitening, and liberty of the separate leaves to trace these laws of government. Gates and palaces, locked temples. On the mountain, the mountain goes unseen, cutting steps in the old snow, spruce pollen caught in the fold of my shirt. Come back each summer to see how far your favorite rock has moved. <laughs>